Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you how to fully restore your and unroot, unroot your Sony Xperia Z3 or for a matter of fact any Xperia Z model. So, whoops, we're going to be using the infamous tool Flash Tool which allows us to flash FTFs or Flash Tool files uh, that pretty much is, um, flushes stock back on our phone, uh, back to factory settings. So you can visit our website at flashtool.net and we're going to download the Flash Tool program to our computer to do this. So go ahead and click on the download tab here. Click on Windows or whichever operating system you are on. They support the big three. Next, I'm going to use the magnet link. Uh, I've already downloaded this, but choose whichever link that you want to download it with because um, it doesn't really matter. Save it anywhere you like. In fact, I have it in my Android folder here. Just highlighted uh, this highlighted fold, uh, file here. Run it and install it. It should install to... Uh, I'll try running it again. It was really slow when I tried doing it before. But once it installs, you should be able to... You should uh, just install it to C Flash Tool. And you'll get something like Flash Tool 64. Or if you're on a 32-bit computer, just run Flash Tool.exe. So what I'm going to do now is run the... Oh, this is what it looks like, the installer. Give it a sec to load. My computer is uh, horrendously slow for reasons unknown. Maybe because it's uh, like three years old. Shouldn't be that bad. So you're going to hit next, C, next. So that's just going to delete everything and extract it again. So that's what it should look like to you guys. Shouldn't take too long. Alright, so it looks like we're done. You can hit next and hit finish. So you can get a folder like this in your C drive uh, flash tool, just like I said earlier. So right now you want to install drivers, but hold on. On Windows 8 and 8.1 and Windows 10, you'll need to boot into a special mode that disables driver signature enforcement. So this allows to for you to install unsigned drivers, which in case which in this case it is. But on Windows 7 and below, you won't have to worry about it. As well as on Linux and on the Mac OS. So on Windows, on Windows 8 and above, open up the run prompt and just type in shutdown dash s no sorry dash r dash o dash t zero and that'll take you into the menu where you can press I think it was F7 or F9 to reboot in a mode where they do not enforce driver signature enforcement. Once you've done that, come back to this step where you're in your drivers, double click to run this, hit yes, just hit next, check flash mode, fast boot, and of course the common drivers for the Z3, hit install, and you're going to see this pop up here, uh, just click next, and you're going to get these uh, red dialog boxes where it says, uh, would you like to install this driver? Uh, just hit yes or whichever one that allows you to install it. I forgot the two options there. But I've already done it so you're going to see them all, all the ticks there. So once you have all the ticks, just go back one folder and run the desired exe executable. So it's either the 32-bit one or the 64-bit version. So we're going to run the 64-bit version here and it's going to sync the device list of their GitHub page. So this usually doesn't take too long, maybe one or two minutes, and this just uh, makes sure makes sure that you have all the devices uh, synced up properly. So in the meantime, uh, make sure you grab your USB cables, so micro USB and USB, because we this is only one part of it. We will need to install drivers. Sorry, not drivers download the FTF flash tool file to your computer that is specific to your model that you want to flash. Now generally speaking you can flash any um, region but it has to be 
the same model. That's what I believe. So, uh, yeah, this usually takes uh, some time, so we'll just wait. I'll be back when this is done. Alrighty, so it's finished now, and you're going to see this lovely thing. What you need to do next is download the firmware. So, luckily, they've combined with each other Xperia Firm and also Flash Tool. So, click on this uh, XF icon here. See, it's in black and white, but press that and it will download uh, Xperia Firm. You can see here, which is handy. And that was really quick. It's a very light application, which I'm proud to say. I've been using this since uh, 2013 or so. So what you need to do, it has all the firmwares here. So we're going to look for the Z3 and Z3 3V here on the left side. Uh, mine's a D6653 module. Make sure you get the right model number. And you can choose any of these. Mine originally was a Vodafone one. So choose whichever one you like. And you're going to click on this. It'll tell you the latest release. And these are the two firmwares that you can download. So I'm going to be downloading, of course, the 200 one because I'm really cool. Just click on that. And this will download, uh, yes, and you also want to unpack it automatically as well. So, just hit download. This usually doesn't take too long. It is uh, approximately, well this it does tell you, 1.58 gigs. So, maybe half an hour of downloading. Usually downloads at pretty good speeds at around 1 megabytes per second. So, just wait for this, and I'll be back when it's finished. Alrighty, so, as you can see, it is uh, done now. So the cool thing about this, how it's all integrated, you just click close, close this, and it'll automatically start creating your firmware that you've just downloaded, uh, compile it into a uh, FTF, flash, uh, flash tool file format, and it'll do all that automatically, which is absolutely fantastico. So far, we have done all this. Uh, it's doing it right now. This should take a roughly uh, five minutes or less. Uh, depends on your system, really. Uh, since this laptop is a little bit slow, it might take a little bit longer, but that's alright. So this is going to compile all the SIN files, TA, sorry, not TAs, um, yeah, SIN files, all that stuff, yeah, a couple TA files in there, all into one. Before, you'd have to do it, like, a bit more manually, but thank goodness for this integration, it makes things a hell of a lot easier for anyone of any expertise, really. So this will finish in a matter of seconds. So you should pause this video now and wait for it to finish because I'll be back when this is done. Okay, so it says here that our file has finished and it also has created a torrent there. So as you can see, it is created in the firmwares folder in your user folder. So we can take a look at that real quick. Um, so that's all automatic. So I'm just going to press Control N here, open up a new window, head over to uh, users. So my user is doggy, dosh, and it'll be in dot flash tool, and in firmwares, and then in firmwares here. 1.7 gigs after extraction and uh, compiling. So you can close that. I was just showing you what it looks like. And now onto the flashing process. What you need to do now is to grab out your phone. You can see the crack along there. So anything up here doesn't work. You gotta do it from down there. So what you need to do is power off like the device. And you want to get your USB ready. So once it vibrates and it's off, you wanna hold volume down and plug in the micro USB. You're gonna see a green, red and green light, and then it'll go black. That represents flash mode. As you can see, it says the device has connected in flash mode down here, and we have some drivers uh, installation happening right here. So since we've installed those flash tool drivers before, this should be all right. And it, uh, the process should go quite similarly to this. So you can close that. Hit this lightning bolt icon. Hit uh, flash mode, of course. So that would have detected your phone in flash mode. Uh, select the firmware that we've just downloaded, and just leave all these. We're going to hit flash. So again, it's going to extract everything that we need into the preparation folder. It's not here. Uh, this roughly takes about, for example, not example, an estimated five minutes. 
like a full five minutes and afterwards it will start flashing so at any point that your phone decides to restart uh, so you've got to keep an eye on it I've had it restart on me once while this was waiting for it uh, it's funny it's a funny thing so what you need to do is keep an eye on your phone and if it does restart just hold the volume down button as soon as the screen turns off and that way it will boot straight back into the into flash mode so essentially you could press that um, see at this moment it's disconnected and it's rebooting um, I should say that uh, this now for example um, no, I keep saying for example uh, when you press the lightning bolt icon you don't need your phone in flash mode at the moment so right now my phone's booting back up so you could leave your phone you know as normal per usual until it says wait for flash mode it gives you this dialogue to uh, boot your phone into flash mode so um, that's a good thing to know next time next time I remember this so again power off your phone Nope. Again, just power off your phone. Wait till it vibrates. Plug in, so hold volume down, and then plug in the USB. And that should get us into flash mode. That was quick, so now it's starting to flash the partitions. Um, I'm, I have no idea what this is, but we'll click yes. Maybe that like erases everything or something. Uh, this is a new process, uh, I haven't done this in a while. Uh, the new versions of the flash tool uh, is pretty cool. Definitely some improvements here from since the last time I I did it. Uh, template session. So as part of this tutorial, um, because you need to be stock to relock the bootloader, um, this is what I'm going to be doing first. So flashing stock. I'm going to relock the bootloader and then flash it again uh, just to make sure um, that it thinks we have a locked bootloader or that it knows that we have a locked bootloader so we can get OTA updates. Uh, flashing data and I believe the system takes the longest. This process here shouldn't take more than about another pure 5 minutes which is pretty handy so you can get all this done in about 20 minutes not counting the download um, when you're downloading the firmware. So I'll be back when this is near the end of the progress bar down there. So yep, just pause this video for now, and when you're about to finish, just unpause it. So you can see, as you can see here, it's almost done. We um, we're just flashing the remainder of the data. It always hangs in this part for a little bit, but you know that is fine. We're gonna do the same process again, or if not, um, you can just. Uh, Relock the bootloader here and boot up, you'll be all good to go. But there's no harm in flashing it again. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do after this. So, after I relock the bootloader with Flash Tool, this thing is definitely one of the most convenient pieces of software I've ever used in my life. Maybe, I've, yeah, it's better than, um, well. More convenient than using Odin for your Samsung devices. And it's perfectly normal for your phone to be just in the black screen here with no LED as well. Um, there isn't supposed to be one. Unlike a uh, fast boot mode, it turns into a blue LED, I believe. So all we're going to do is just wait, you know. Not sure why that is, it takes that long. Oh, sorry. The system is uh, takes a long time. Now you can see it writing um, TA partitions here, so it's done. All we need to do, what we're going to do here to relock the bootloader is hold volume down at this point, unplug, and quickly replug in. And you're going to see the LEDs pop up again. So you're going to see we're in flash tool, so um, flash mode. Now click on this bootloader unlock button. And we want to hit relock. And it says the relock is finished here. So you can hit close. And this will start up again. So at this point, you can force your phone to turn off. Oh, it's in flash mode again. And so, so ignore what I just said. And right now, you may want to flash it again or just let it boot up. But I'm running out of camera footage. So um, this is a choice that you can make. It doesn't do anything. If you can't get OTAs, I'm not sure how you can check that if you're on the latest one, but 
if you want to be safe, flash it again, um, just by clicking on that lightning bolt icon, doing all that. But otherwise, I'm going to let the phone boot up, and that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, guys, and I uh, hope this has helped you return your Sony Xperia Z3 back to stock, or as a matter of fact, any um, Sony device. And also, um, be sure to subscribe if you'd like to see more of these videos. I do have the Z3, it's a little bit broken. Um, and the 6P. So if you have any videos, um, you want anything covered regarding um, anything like this, technical, um, feel free to leave it in the comments down below and I'll be more than happy to, to consider making a video uh, for you. So yep, again, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.